Hello everybody and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas on Hardcore. In the last episode, we found evidence of what they did. If you say you're going to get... Oh no. No, 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 no. Good thing I saved. I found it. I found the evidence. Okay, what? I know I killed them. Did it glitch? Like, I have the letter. I can open this. I think it... I think it glitched. That's not fair. I'm gonna put all the stuff back. Cause I don't need that. Clearance granted. Unlocking. Did I take everything back? Yes I did. I don't need... Oh, I need a repeater. I don't need a caravan shotgun. I don't need a butter knife. Or a fork. Or a wrench. Yeah, I already have. That's not fair because... I got it! I unlocked it. Maybe... So, I'm gonna travel to the Mojave outpost. Oh, and to, like, show on the trail, I know I can, uh... Travel to the north gate of the strip, which is over here. Oh, it's over here? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's here. Okay. I know this place almost like the back of my. What? Oh. A thug tried to attack me. Seriously? Look at me! I'm like a Roman... A Roman soldier from the future. Come on! Don't kill him! You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Thank you. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Hmm. Courier? Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher? How did my you father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. 
Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half buried human remains in the crawl space. Ew. I didn't bother saying told you so. After yeah. a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. That's horrible. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Um, uh, escort, aren't the guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Okay, so you got paid for sex. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. And the uh, gun for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Let's talk All about right. something else and goodbye. Bye. Well, this guy is, looks like he's done a little bit of every... Okay. That guy is dead. Whoa. Really? Really? He just stood there. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. I need a sense of 80. Because you can enter for free. And get some experience while I'm at it. Alright, I'm gonna head to the Mojave outpost. Because I have the evidence. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a new... Heard you helped out Jackson. Mm. I think Ranger Jackson. Yeah, Ranger Jackson. Because I remember doing this. I remember doing it the right way. Jackson, where are you? Appreciate the help. I have evidence. Yes, I can do it. Of what is it? Let me space. see. All right. This is... This explains a lot of the lost caravans. I thought it was Legion work, but... Can you get it to the right people? I can, if you make me a promise. I need you to swear you won't take revenge on Gloria or Alice. If you do, then your case is over, and we can't see that justice is done. I know some things are hard to let go. You and Miss Cassidy need to understand that. Hear me? You have our word. What have to do? God, what a mess. People turning against each other when the Mojave's at risk of falling? If the Republic's sinkhole progress doesn't kill us, greed will. Thanks for bringing me this. I know revenge must have been tempting. For what it's worth, I appreciate you didn't shed any more blood. We need to save our strength for the Legion. It felt like the right thing to do. I'll do what I can. And those folks that got killed need to be answered for. So. Well, that's settled, I suppose. Chasing the dead with more deaths isn't the way. No. No, I know. Just hard to say how I feel right now. Wait, that's not true. I think the NCR back west, when riled, is going to be the worst enemy the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan ever had. 
They're all so mired in procedure and paper out there. The kind of evidence we gave is going to be worse than shooting them. I think that settles accounts with me and my men. That was some tricky political maneuvering, but worth it, even if it takes a few years. Come on, give me her permanent health bonus. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. All right then. Okay, let's move on. So I did hers, and let's see what quests we got. I'm gonna do three card bounty. Why? Oh. So the other motel is the closest one I got. The burned man. I think last two episodes like two episodes ago I uh, talked about the Van Buren fallout I can't help but like the concept don't know it's appealing to see a cancelled game that was in a way revived through two other games that are much more expensive I think there's something There might be fiends. Yep, fiends. I'm sure of it. Because that's the only guys that are here. Oh, mine box. Come on, it's just easy. Frag mines. Eddie. Oh, they actually take up a lot. Holy! Sink here. Can't reach it. Not bad. I think he was. Yeah, there he is. Not. Where is his corpse? Really? Whoa, this hunting rifle is really, really overpowered for them. Okay, it's not overpowered, not at all. But you know what is overpowered? The Gatling Razor. The Gatling Razor. Wow, the Gatling ra Laser. My God, English. Cass, where are you? What Seven are you doing? Let's deal. Give me that. I want to repair it. Karma. If you need karma, just come over here. Because they each offer like a hundred karma each. Cowboy repeater. Nice. I can repair mine. And it's in pretty good condition. Don't need that. Let's see. Through here. Got the simple laser rifle. And it's not worth that much, so I'm not gonna sell it. Just some hundred caps. Not worth the wait. Okay, now there's an entrance somewhere because they are like they're separated. And there's some more fiends. There you go. 
Come on. Easy. Holy. Yes, South Vegas ruins east. Okay, let's have some Blanco mac and cheese. I don't need that barrel cactus. And I think I got not the maze. Where? Have some more. <coughs> ah, some maze, why not? And here in power. Oh, perception minus two. Not good. Now my perception is down. Okay, I don't think I'll have some anymore. Just, just in case of emergency, I think. And I'm focusing. Oh, what? I need a doctor's bag. Let each of us in. No, gas! Gas, get in here! Okay. I don't want them to die. And why did Cass have Sweet a as roses? Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Let's have some dirty water. And more maize. Not gonna use any jet. And I'm gonna change to the cowboy repeater. Let's see. You like the sight of your own blood? If I'm gonna die, I don't like, like the to. sight of your own blood. He's got two laser rifles and a varmint rifle. That's useless. Alright, she's healed up. I don't want them to die. Not at all. Mm, can't do anything. Oh, what's it? Maze run of steam, run of this, and dirty water, so. I'm gonna take all of these. Because I know I'm in for a fight. Eddie! You can have the frag grenades. Because I won't use them. Uh, this is the guy that has two laser rifles. Okay, so I can repair them and they'll be worth a lot more. Where are you? Laser rifle. Okay. Mm, nope. I can't take any high up position so I can snipe them. That's too bad. Steady. I think the hardest one is uh, Cook Cook. Why am I kidding? All of them are, are hard. Alright, so through here. Maybe? Nice job. 
job, Eddie. Call and go to gauge. The clock ran. So this was a fairly productive episode. First aid box. Doctor's bag, bobby pins, stim. Dumpster, a hammer. Oh, this one has more. And through here. Okay, so. Once it loads, I'll end the episode. And I'll catch you in the next one.